welcome to Reflective Fashion Production. This is Puppy Tales. Um, we have a few videos that we're going to show after I just do this introduction. And be quiet. You you say your piece at the end. So we've recorded this like several times because the first time he was barking. The second time he was whining. The third time, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. We, we've recorded this too many times. But this is the last time. And then I'm going to put the... Get, the Put the videos together and post it. Stop. Anyway, so this morning we had an awful walk. It was the worst walk that I ever experienced with him since we've had him. We've had him since July the 15th and he is five months now. When I tell you, I just feel like there should be some grace for people who adopt animals because there, there's a lot going on you know you have your life you have to make sure that your life merge with the puppy just all kinds of things right so um one of the things that i can say that a lot of people tell me when they do see us walking is that you know that's great that you got them on the leash because you know some puppies aren't really easy to get on the leash and i'm just like oh okay I've never experienced that. Like, I want to say that my little puppy that I had when I was growing up, that's Taz. <laughs> he was something else. I will tell you, like, he would go outside. He would just run in the front yard. And we had a house and I was 16. So that was a little bit different from us having an apartment because Prince over here, he is five months and he looks like he's gonna be a beast when i say his he's gonna be a beast oh my gosh i'm so excited like i can't i cannot wait but i can't wait um experiencing these moments with him is is kind of difficult but at the same time it's just like okay i definitely we need to nip this in the bud so this morning he gets up at like 4 30 which i really want him to stop like i just feel like he does really good for Malia, but like if I'm tired and I just want to rest, he will get up at 4.30 and be like, it's me. I'm here. And it's just like, no, sir, we, we don't want to do that. But he got up this morning. I took him to his pee pad, which is just right outside our patio. And he didn't pee on it. In fact, he ran toward the back of the, the patio, got under the chair and then decided when I moved from the door, he was going to come in here and pee under the co coffee table. And I was like, absolutely not. We're not doing that, sir. So what I did was I put him back in his room and I cleaned up. I was really upset because it was 4.30 in the morning. I didn't have plans to get up that early. So I was just like, okay, cool. I laid down, tried to relax my body. My body didn't relax. So I was like, let me go ahead and get up and start moving around. So I started moving around, getting stuff together, and at around maybe six, I took him out for a walk. I When I tell you this walk was crazy because we've been working on longer walks with him. However, he was like jumping and he wouldn't sit when he was supposed to. And then he had the audacity to snap at me. So I snapped back. I was like, no, we ain't doing this. And I ended up picking him up. Because <laughs> I was like, I we've been working up, we've been working too hard for you to start reverting into I don't know this. I'm the boss dog. No, you're not. No, you're not, because I'm the queen and you the prince. So what? Now what? Anyway. So our walk ended up with him being in his room. He's still in his room right now. Um I might let him out so he can play once I get um, some stuff organized. I do want to, you know, do other things like vacuum the floor and everything like that. So I have to put him in a place to where he's okay and not all over the place when it comes to the vacuum because he still doesn't like the vacuum. <sighs> and then one thing that happened this week, which I was really sad about and I'm working on it is, can you see that? so I was upside down on the couch we were playing around 
and he like opened his mouth towards my face and I think I don't know I can't really tell you the story but it happened and I got the scar and the funny thing is is that he don't really have any teeth because he's been shedding them so I'm just like hi like really but one thing I do not want him to do is just open his mouth towards people's face that's not cool I don't I don't like that mm -mm. I'm, I'm not a fan and my <laughs> my eye but it actually is healing up very well um I hid it for a minute because I didn't really want to show anybody but it happens like when you have a dog like you should see the scars on my wrists my hands my arms like it's crazy because he just be biting like out of control but I'm excited because today we are going to puppy classes. It is officially official. And one of the things that I really feel like, I guess for anyone, if even with people selling dogs, because we, we adopted him, I just feel like if you get a dog that's just between the, the ages of eight, of like four weeks to like, 12 weeks, there should be some type of training and bonding so that you could build that up. Now, we've had him for eight weeks. And I just, I think that that's important to just have that bonding with them and just build that so that you can stop certain things like biting because he's, he's still biting. And I, I'm just like, that's, <laughs> I just want to, I want to bite him back. <sighs> I do. But it won't hurt him. Anyway, so enjoy these videos. I don't think we have a lot of videos to show. Um, but he does he does say a few words at the end of the video. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll talk to you soon. This is what Prince picked out when we went. You hear him? He he's excited. He picked this out when we went to uh, PetSmart. I, I don't, okay, so it's all natural for medium, large dogs, beef bone. I, he doesn't eat beef. He doesn't really eat beef with his uh, food. I'm going to open it before I, I give it to him. I was told that you shouldn't give these to dogs, but... I, I don't know. Everybody, everybody's dog is different. I, I used to give them to my dog um, when I had one when I was younger. And then he had raw hides too. He loved those things. But he's excited. I'm, I'm hoping that this helps when I am working today because little man, he be out of control. Prince, Prince, Prince of the Wild. That's, that's what I call him. So I'm opening it right. Oh, I'm opening it right now. It's, this is what it looks like. It's a, oh god, and it stinks. But he's excited. Um, I should start with a little bit at a time. I think that's what I might do. But let's see. We'll see how he acts. Okay, so I gave him the little bitty piece. He working on it right now. I don't, I don't know. He kills that. Let's see how he, let's, let's see what he does. <clears throat> I do know that when he's eating his food, he tends to eat a little bit faster. I I want to see how he reacts to this and see like what happens. Oh, what it was a little I guess it was a little piece over here. I guess I didn't get all of the pieces. What? Okay, that's enough just watching him and me narrating. <clears throat> So I want to say it's been a good 
30 minutes and they're his toys. This is him. Normally he's like running all over the place playing with all of them. And then, you know, his bowl is back there. He has a toy over there. So this is him. And that toy in the back was actually from last night. I just didn't pick it up. Um, but I guess he really enjoys this. And it actually is keeping him from doing other things. But this is what I don't like. I'm really going to have to, like, vacuum the floor tonight. Because this is this is not going to work. But I'm, I'm liking that he is enjoying himself. He did have it over here under the, the table, but I had to move it because I was just like, I don't want him bumping his head, let alone like being under there and then getting stuck. But I really do enjoy the fact that he's liking it. I used to get these for my, my little puppy, uh, Taz. And then after a while, they got so expensive, but that was actually $4.99 at... Petsmark, I was really shocked because normally they are like really expensive. So maybe um, that could be like a once a month thing that we do. I can put that in the budget. Do you have anything that you want to say? Now that you are just, it's on you. Do you want to defend yourself? Okay, well, do you see his collar? Isn't it, isn't it nice for the uh, the month? He has a nice little collar. You have a nice little collar, Prince. Well, I want to say thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I guess he's mad now. Ha, 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 ha.